you need. I'm not you, me. I need to blend with my fingers. I blend with a brush or a sponge, absolutely not. <laughs> guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we are doing something fun. We are doing a full foundation try on. We are doing a full review. We're comparing and contrasting to other foundations. We are talking about the new Say Beauty foundation. It came out recently. I was so excited the second that I saw that they were, they announced that they were coming out with a foundation. I was like, put it in my basket and I was stalking waiting for it to go live so I could purchase it purchase it right away I've been trying and testing it out and I definitely have some thoughts I'm excited to share them with you guys I love like a concealer or a foundation launch just gets me so excited um, to find like that perfect match, whether it's for your complexion or whether it's for like your skin type it's always so fun to test them out and the testing process is so fun and I just love it. So I just want to kind of jump into this video and get started so we can get into this Say Beauty Foundation review. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below on what other videos you want to see me film. And without further ado, let's get into the Say Beauty Foundation review. Okay, we are in closer. Let's get into the Say Beauty Foundation try on. So this is the Say Beauty Foundation. What is the full name? The Say Beauty glowy super skin foundation now i really struggled to pick a shade for a little bit like when i because i always like hunt and say okay um, this is the shade i'm gonna get when it comes out so that i already know and i'm not agonizing over it during like purchase time because that's always annoying so i was like looking around and i had a hard time picking a shade and i thought i knew what my shade was going to be but i was really thrown off with the models that were wearing it um, in their pictures, but also the swatches, like everything just didn't really match in my opinion, when in my mind of like what I was picturing. So I struggled. Then they came out with a chart that talks about the, if you are this shade in their um, slip tint, which is their tinted moisturizer, or if you're this shade in their concealer, you'll probably be these shades. And then that kind of solidified that like what I thought originally that I wanted for like what one I originally picked in my mind was the shade I was gonna go with. And I'm happy I went with the shade because I do think this is a decent match. Um, So yeah, this is the foundation again, shade 18. This is a serum foundation. You need to shake this up. They even say on their... Is it website or something? I don't know where I read it. It might've just been on their Instagram. You need to shake this up and it is normal because of how the product is and that it's a very serum-y product for it to have a little bit of separation. So just make sure you shake well. It's also very liquidy. I do a little pump on the back of my hand. So you can see, as you can see, it's a very liquidy product. And you know, I love that. I love a liquidy product. Now they say that you can apply it with a brush. I mean, you can apply it however you want. I actually prefer applying this with my fingers first, um, but they do say that they recommend you applying it with a brush. However you like to apply it, you do that. Or And I like to blend with my fingers. What do you guys think of the shade match? It's not bad. It's a little bit light, but I do, I, for me at least, I've noticed that once it sits on the skin, it does, I don't know if it I don't think oxidize is the right word, but it does kind of uh, not adapt. I mean, it must oxidize slightly um, because I do notice after a little bit of time, it does kind of adjust to my skin tone a little bit better. So that's also why I like to sometimes go light because sometimes stuff just, you want it to, if you, sometimes stuff just oxidizes and that's like, annoying because then sometimes stuff ends up looking super super dark just make sure if you're going light or dark you really pull it into your hairline and you make sure it's kind of really blendy there all right we're blended what do you guys think have you noticed how the color kind of transforms it's it like oxidizes i don't even know if oxidizes is the right word but it's the only word that's coming to mind it literally is now a perfect match for my complexion which i find really interesting um and i'm really glad i got the shade that i did because if i got a darker shade even like a hair i, I would have looked crazy um so sometimes you just gotta like go with your gut and I went with my gut. And if you're like doing, you don't know what shade to get, take a little bit of the foundation from like a Sephora or wherever in store, 
put a couple swatches on the back of your hand. Remember which one is which, like do side by side swatch. Don't do like a thick swatch, do one where it's like kind of blended out a little bit. Um, and then maybe walk around and come back and then see what, and don't look at it in Sephora light because that never is accurate. But um, look at it in the light, especially natural light and just see, like if you're at the mall, walk outside of the mall and then come back in and just see how it kind of sits because it definitely does change a little bit in my opinion. So I would love to know what you guys think. What do you guys think of the finish? This is definitely a radiant finish foundation. This foundation, when I get up close to a mirror, it literally looks like there's nothing on my skin when I apply it with my fingers. Now, if I apply it the way that was recommended, which was um, with a brush, and I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I just pat it into the skin like I saw like the recommended way to apply it. It wasn't working for me and I had that same issue with the House Labs foundation where if I didn't apply it with my fingers, I, I just, I was like, no, it makes my skin look weirdly textured. And so like when I got up close to a mirror, I could like tell I was wearing foundation and I don't like that. I don't want to look like I'm wearing foundation in the sense of like it look, it's like very apparent on your like face hairs and like on texture that you might not even have. So this one, when you apply with your fingers and I get close, this is the most humbling mirror I have. When I get close, it literally looks like your skin, but better um, in the sense that it really does look like my skin, but a little bit more perfected. Now, this is definitely a buildable medium coverage, which is really nice because sometimes you don't want it, anything to be, I mean, you don't necessarily always want something to be full, like full medium coverage. You kind of maybe want something to be a little bit more of a light medium coverage or light coverage. And so this one you can kind of build up, um, which is really nice. Now you can go full send and go full medium and it can totally do that, which is really nice. And it still does if you apply even more foundation, let's say, because you, you did a small application first and then you want to build on top of that. It still does look very much like skin, which is amazing, especially if you blend it out in my experience with your fingers. Now I want to get on to the rest of the makeup and then we can compare and contrast a little bit more and get into more of the review. All right, you guys, makeup's on. What do you guys think of the look? Also, how do you feel like the foundation is looking? Um, I haven't powdered yet. I am in studio lights and today it is toasty in here so it is definitely a good way to show how it's wearing this is very impressive for the fact that i am it like i'm hot right now um so i feel like the way that it's wearing is really nice and i have been in here for a little bit because again i was applying um individual lashes and that just takes the patience of a saint to do so i feel like this is a good kind of test for you guys just to see on camera before I powder. Um, now, I feel like right, so right in here is where I get the most dewy and I feel like especially my chin and I do feel like for the fact that like this is like barely dewy for my combo skin which is like pretty impressive like through the mid of my face. Now I do want to add a little bit of powder. I'm going to add the Ami Cole setting powder and maybe a little bit of the Westman Atelier powder but I'm going to do the um, Ami Cole translucent powder um, in just like right down the um, middle of my face. Okay, we are powdered. I'm gonna let that kind of settle into the skin. Next, let's get into the rest of this review and compare and contrast to other products. So say Beauty Foundation, again, I wear the shade 18. I feel like that's a good shade match for me, especially once it kind of settles. Um, at first application, you're like, whoa, it might be a little light if you're my complexion, but trust me, trust the process. It kind of settles in and it looks really, really good. Um, I really enjoy this shade match and I'm really happy with it. Now you have to make sure that you shake it up. You got to shake it up. If not, it's, it can separate, but also, which they do say, um, but also it just shaking it, shake anything. Honestly, I feel like shaking most things that you wear on your face is good. Get those pigments really going in there, mix the serums that are in specifically, this is a serum foundation, mix it up. Because I find with any more serum based foundation, if I don't shake it first, it's just, it's not like exactly how I want it to be. So shaking it is good. Um, it has medium buildable coverage, like it's buildable to medium, but you can also have it be a little bit lighter in coverage depending on how you apply it. I prefer to apply this with my fingers, not with a, a brush or a sponge. I just feel like I like the way that it makes my skin look. It makes your skin look very much 
your skin but better. It is a very natural foundation and it literally almost disappears, especially especially if you blend it with your fingers. I don't find that I necessarily have that with this foundation if I apply it with a brush and kind of just stipple it in right away. I just prefer the finish when I use my fingers. And that is with most foundation. It's not just this foundation, it's most foundation. I really enjoy this radiant finish that it has. It is like, ugh, I love a radiant finish. I mean, I prefer a natural radiant or dewy finish for all my foundations in general, but radiant finish is almost like the perfect combo in my mind to like a natural and a, with a touch, not a lot of dewy foundation, but a little bit of a dewy foundation mixed in. It really gives you a lit from within glow. It really disappears on the skin when I blend it with my fingers. It's just like, makes my complexion look so seamless and pretty um, and I don't find it clings to anything. Sometimes I find some foundations, even if they're dewy, can cling and this one doesn't. Um, with radiant foundations too, not any foundation, even if they're more on the hydrating side, they can cling to stuff. This doesn't cling to stuff, which is nice. And I do have some dryness, especially I have, has, I have some like hyperpigmentation on this side and on this side. It did a really good job of covering it, um, but like right here specifically, I have, you can kind of see the little bump I have there. It is like a raised bump with hyperpigmentation on it that's pretty um, apparent when you're in person. It's like a little bit on the drier side. This doesn't cling to that, which is nice. I have other foundations that I, I have tried that are newer that I'm gonna talk about um, that do cling. So this is really, really nice. I love the way that it wears throughout the day. Now let's move on to how it compares to other foundations in my collection. First one I wanna talk about is the Say Beauty um, Slip Tint. And just because it is the other complexion product that Say Beauty has, um, I would say that this is more of a light coverage product. Um, you can build it up, but I wouldn't say that it can go full, full. Mm. Depending on how much you apply, you can definitely build this product up, but when you do like one pump, a blend it out on your face, it gives more of a light coverage in my opinion. Um, and you can have it be sheer and you can build it up slightly, but it's not quite the medium coverage that you would like a true medium coverage that you get with the Say Beauty foundation or any true um, medium coverage foundation. Now there are less shades here than in the foundation. You can kind of get away with um, different shades, like more shades in this one in my opinion, because of the fact that it isn't quite as sheer in coverage or light in coverage. So I have to make sure in a foundation I get a truer shade match than I do in a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer. Um, so I have two shades in this, shade six and five. They came out with the shade 5.5, um, which is what would my shade would be. I'm definitely 5.5, which is how I ended up being able to pick this um, foundation based off of the fact that I'm definitely not six. Six is definitely too warm for me um, and slightly too dark even in the summer and five is definitely too light and not quite warm enough. So I went, in my mind, I went 5.5. I have swatch 5.5. I just don't want to buy it yet because I want to get through these. Um, but that's a good shade match for me. Okay, so now let's move on to other foundations. Um, the first one I want to talk about, I know I'm going to get questions about, is the House Labs foundation. Now, this is definitely a thicker formula than the Say Beauty one. It doesn't quite have that same run that the Say Beauty one does. Um, it is... It does has some running as you can see, but if I do a little compare and contrast side by side, ooh, the Save Beauty one is the one that's running a lot further down. As you can see, like it is moving and grooving a lot quicker down my arm. So the consistencies are definitely a little different. Now, I definitely feel like the House Labs one has that same almost radiant, dewy finish that the Say Beauty one does, but what I will say is I feel like the Say one is a little less dewy than the House Labs one. This is also one that you need, and not you, me. I need to blend with my fingers. I blend with a brush or a sponge, absolutely not. 
it's just, it doesn't work for my skin. Like I just feel like it looks apparent on the face, but when I blend it with my fingers, this is also one that disappears. I wear the shade um, 330 in this one and it's a very nice shade match for me. I feel like it just gives, it's like the, it's a cool tone, a more cool tone one, um, but I do really enjoy the way that this wears on my face and I feel like it just kind of disappears into the skin. Um, the difference here is definitely consistency. They're both medium coverage. Um, I would say that this one is a little less dewy than the House Labs one and I do feel like throughout the day the house labs one they both kind of wear similarly in terms of the way that they do up but i do feel like the house labs one in my on my skin definitely gets a little a little bit not a ton a touch more dewy um especially and you know what especially right away i would say that by the end of the day the house labs one is only a touch a smidge um dewier but and they wear off is the same. They both look beautiful. Um, but I would say right away, the House Labs one dews up ever so slightly more than the um, Say Beauty one. I love both of these. These are both great foundations. And give me, I'm not a big foundation person. Like I like a foundation, but for every day, I don't love a foundation. And both of these are kind of in the same like vibe for what I like. Makes my skin look really good, dewy, natural, radiant, whatever it is. And it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but this one does feel a uh, heavier than this one. So that's also the difference here. Next, let's talk about this one, the Exo Beauty Foundation, which you all know I love. And if you don't know, I love this foundation. This is the shade um, 270 Rebecca. I love this foundation. It is just amazing. It is just so good. It is definitely different than the Say Beauty one because it is more of a natural finish, whereas the Say Beauty one is a radiant finish, and it, do it doesn't get as necessarily dewy looking towards the end of the day as the Say Beauty one. The Say Beauty one definitely dews up a little bit more, but not a ton, shockingly enough, throughout the day, at least on my combo skin. Now, um, for me, I feel like you get, again, more of a natural finish here. It is a different, it's not quite as thin of a consistency. They both actually do, in my opinion, feel really, really light on the skin. But the Say Beauty one, out of all the foundations I'm talking about today, um, ooh, except maybe minus one, has the m lightest feel on the face. But they all feel really, really light. Next. Next, let's talk about the Kosas foundation. So the Kosas foundation is definitely more dewy, whereas this is a true radiance, this is a true dewy foundation. Um, I would say the consistencies are similar. The Say Beauty one is definitely thinner, um, but they both have a nice slip to them and like silky feel um, when you apply. I I prefer applying both of these with my fingers, but I can apply the um, Kosas one with a brush or a sponge, and I don't feel like it has that same look on the skin as when I apply the Say Beauty one on my skin with a brush, if that makes sense. Um, again, I just prefer always to kind of blend with fingers, and if I don't, I do a, a brush, and then I do a sponge, or I will just go just sponge. Um, but I do really enjoy both of these. I would say that... Um, First of all, I do think, I mean, in my opinion, the um, Say ones are significantly less yellow. So if you struggle with the fact that the Kosas um, foundations do have more of a yellow undertone, then maybe the Say one will be for you because I definitely struggled. I'm the shade 290 in this one, right? Yeah, 290 in this one. Um, and I did, I still feel like it's slightly yellow, but what are you going to do? You can't always get a perfect match. And there are um, things that you can buy that have, like, can tone down like to make something more neutral if you struggle um i think la girl has the ones that i'm thinking of that you can kind of change the how deep something is how warm something is how neutral you want something there's they have a bunch of options um but i really do enjoy both of these Okay, next. Next, I want to talk about this one. Um, this is the Ilia foundation, and I've talked about this a million times on my channel. I really, really enjoy this foundation, and to me, the way that they wear is similar. The Ilia foundation is more of, it has some, like, it does run slightly, as you can see, but again, the Say Beauty one is definitely more liquid and thinner, in consistency. This is a great shade match for me. This is the shade Morocco. I love this shade. Um, and they did change it after like the first launch of these foundations slightly, but it is barely different. So if you were a big Morocco fan from Ilia and you're worried that their new relaunch of this foundation, um, the shade is like significantly different. It is 
literally a touch different. I have the old one actually. I did a video where I actually talked about this um, changing. Um, it's barely different, but I really, really enjoy both of these foundations. Um, the Ilia one is definitely less of a radiant and more of a natural finish. This is definitely, an, if you like um, Armani Luminous Silk, this is a great dupe for Armani Luminous Silk. I did a whole video like I think at the beginning of my channel, so a while ago, where I kind of talked about the, the comparison between the two. They are very, very comparable. And even if you search it, there, there are um, comparisons, not just from me, um, that say that this is a really good dupe for Armani Luminous Silk. Both have nice medium coverage, but this one, again, is more radiant. This one is a little bit more natural. Love both of them. It kind of just depends on what you like um, and consistency a, a lot thinner. The way that it feels on the face is thinner, but again, this feels thinner than most foundations that I've tried in my life. So great foundations though. Okay, next. Next, we're going to talk about it comparably to Makeup by Mario because I have been seeing some questions come in about how I feel like they compare. Um, and I know technically the Makeup by Mario one is not considered clean. However, I try everything out that's in the marketplace so I can give you a really well-rounded review. So anytime something launches and it's like big hype, I always grab it and try it out and see how it kind of compares to other products I have so I can give like a really good review. The Makeup by Mario one does like you can see like slight like radiance particles in them. It's not glittery, but radiance particles in it, whereas the Say Beauty one doesn't have that. It just has like a radiance to it. Um, whereas when you look at it, like even when it's out on your hand, the Makeup by Mario does have more radiancy particles, but again, it's not glittery. You're not gonna look like Edward Cullen or anything like that. Um, the Makeup by Mario one is not as thin as the Say Beauty one. Um, and I do feel like the Say Beauty one looks slightly more natural on the skin, but they both look beautiful. Like I've worn them side by side. They both look beautiful on the skin. Um, I do feel like for this is a little bit warm for the fact that it's technically considered neutral. So just kind of, if you can go in person and you want to try this one out, do swatch. Um, this is fine for me, but it is slightly too warm. Um, again, I do feel like this has a little bit of a thicker consistency. It's not quite as runny, but the same beauty one, like I said, is comparably to everything that I have right now. Um, in front of me is not is like thinner than all of them um, the say beauty one also feels a little bit more less heavy on the skin like this really disappears when I, I tried this when it first came out and I thought oh wow this is like really feels super super like nothing on the skin then I tried the say beauty one and this one feels more natural on the skin than this one um, both beautiful foundations. I will say that the Makeup by Mario one for where I have my hyperpigmentation um, and that mark that is slightly slightly dry um it does cling a little bit to it although this is a very hydrating foundation it just clings slightly to it not in a bad way it's not like oh i can't wear it when i'm like super dry but it is something to know and keep in mind when you're trying it out if you do have drier bits to your face drier bits i don't love that but um i really enjoy both of these foundations um if i had to pick between the two i would go the say beauty one just because first of all the shade match is definitely better um but not just that i do feel like by the end of the day i'm less dewy with the say beauty one than i am the makeup by mario one and i love how natural this looks on the skin this still looks crazy natural so if you want to try this one out this is a nice foundation um but this one definitely it kind of disappears into the skin a little bit more, but also like the way that it, when you get close to the camera, it it disappears even more into the skin than the Makeup by Mario one. Yeah, that is it for this Say Beauty foundation review. I would love to know your thoughts down below. What do you feel like? How is it wearing? Especially now that the powder has kind of settled in. What? How do you feel like it's looking? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? If you haven't tried it, are you going to try it? Or are you kind of like, eh, not that interested in it? not into the foundation launches right now let me know down below um also let me know what you think of this makeup look also do you like the individuals can you even tell if i'm wearing individuals i feel like sometimes you're wearing individuals and it's like <sighs> basically it looks like you didn't do anything um so let me know down below and yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys